Welcome back, YouTube. We are getting ready to put some gaskets and valve covers, oil pan, timing cover, what have you, back on the 302. She's pretty clean inside and out, in all honesty. Had a little bit of uh, gunk buildup around these Allen plugs, but other than that, I mean, that's that's how it looked. Pretty darn clean. She's got a long ways to go. We got the uh, valve covers back on. We're getting ready to set the intake. Got a few small things to clean out, looks like. But, should be ready to set the intake on. I gotta locate some more intake bolts because apparently I didn't save them when I took that intake off of another engine. So, got a blood blister too. So if you happen to have any intake bolts for a 302 laying around, P.O. Box, no, I'm just kidding. We're getting further and further. After I realized where I stuck the intake bolts, we got the intake put on. The intake bolts were stuck to the door of that Mazda in a magnetic pan. Really sucks when you do your projects in like seven separate steps, five months apart. She's getting the oil pan cleaned up so we can put one coat of paint on it tonight because it's going to be on the bottom of the engine, which will make it hard to paint. So we will get one coat on it at least while it's out. And tomorrow we'll get it bolted back on, get some stuff covered up on the sides of the block here, start painting. Are you ready to paint? Yes. Hopefully the time lapse turns out decent on here. This water soluble degreaser is amazing stuff. I mean, look at that block. That block is from 1984. Clean. The, it was a fuel injected engine to start with, and I don't think it really got much footage of the, the engine when it first came in, but it had the big old 5.0 plenum. I took this off of a 79 302, the intake. Bolts right up. But anyways, we'll get back to work and check back in here a little bit. Thanks for watching. It's flat black, so it won't stay shiny, dear. The transmission is looking pretty goddamn good. I couldn't believe how well it cleaned up. I haven't seen a tranny like this since Bruce Jenner got Woman of the Year. It is a crisp five degrees outside. We are in a polar vortex right now. Got some new LEDs put up. Got a Wi-Fi bulb put up. I think he's set up to go live. Cats are happy they got nice. they got some electrolyte water. And we are going to start getting this engine block dry and clean so we can get a coat of paint on it. The exhaust manifolds, I think we're gonna leave rusty-ish. Clean them up, make them look a little better, and then clear coat them with high heat paint. It won't last forever, but it'll look cool. Stock manifolds, maybe we'll grind some of the casting numbers off, but other than that, leave it rusty. Hell, maybe leave the casting numbers on. We'll see. We'll check back in later.
Bo. Alrighty, working on some test fitments here for the motor mounts and run into an issue here where it runs into each other but there's enough material here I think I'm just gonna come in and grind away on the motor mount itself and I can come back in and weld on the motor mounts on both sides I can bring a triangle in and fill it in on both sides to make it match that's a good thing about these universal motor mounts these were only 40 bucks and they're made to fit like 60 or 70 years of engines so every now and then you'll have something like this you got to work with but pretty cheap option for motor mounts i like them you have a little friend plate they came with thank you and they come with these motor mounts, or well, weld on plates. Now I think, I'm not sure which way I'll orientate them until I get them in the truck. But if you're a fabricator, you can make, make this fucker work anywhere. Now I need something to pry that off there. Is that gasket? So I have no idea where this will even fall into the video or where we're at, but we're elbow deep into this. Nikki is working on the water pump. She's getting the gaskets off of the water pump. I'm working on fabricating the engine mounts. Man, it's so messy and so clean, all at once. 
She's watching TikToks. I'm gonna get a quick video before we go in or whatever. We've done a bunch today and I don't know where and what I recorded. So, this is what I'm getting. This is what it looks like. Yeah, a little bit more cleaning. It's really not that exciting to watch this part of it. We'll see what we come up with the time lapse. But as of now, we got a resealed, rebuilt water pump. And we're waiting to repaint the motor. So hopefully next weekend, we'll have an engine put back together. Good job, Nikki.